hello guys how are you doing in today's video i am going to be teaching you how to create your own export action damn like for some of us what we do is we have an export setting that we use for all our images so whenever we want to export we just press a shortcut key and once we are finished with the job it will just help us export the job so in this particular video let's see how we can do that so we are going to go to the action panel. If it's not there, you just have to come to windows and look for action or you press your alt F9 to bring it up. Now mine is showing this way because I've changed it to button mode. So let's go back to the normal mode. When you bring it up, this is how it's going to be showing. Let's make this bigger. This is how it is going to be showing. So let's close out. I have deleted the default action. So these are the actions I'm using. Some of them I downloaded from someone to use. This is my export action. So what we are going to do right now is to create, first of all, you create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call the folder export action. So I am going to just export them. I don't even know how to spell export again. Export action. So that is what I want to call it. You can call it whatever you want to call it. There is no rule there. Photoshop has not said you must give it a particular name for it to run very well. So you have finished adding everything. Probably you still want to sharpen the image a little. From this point now, I'm going to create the action. I'm going to call it export. So once I say OK, it has started recording. If you want to stop it, you just stop it. If you want to start recording, you record from there. So what I want to do first is to see if I can sharpen this image before export. I just want to just show you something. You understand? Let me let you I'm showing you some things that you can do with the action. So I'm going to press, I'm going to just hold down my Alt Shift, Alt Shift and Control plus E to merge everything in a stamp visible layout on top every other layout. So this is what I have here. So whatever I'm doing here is not affecting everything that is below it. So I'm going to come to filter, come to sharpen, then go to unsharp mask. So with the unsharp mask, the setting is the amount is too high. So I'm going to start pushing it up. I'm going to keep it around here. Around 25 is fine for me. So if this is all I want to do, if I want to do more things, I can just go keep tweaking and tweaking. If this is all I want to do, if I want to move my threshold to the ending of the peak, the, the line, no problem. So I'm going to say OK. So once I say OK, you are going to see that it has recorded, first of all, merge visible layout, then now it has recorded on sharp mask. So I'm going to hold down my Control shift alt s So it's going to bring me to this point. This is the option I normally use in exporting to web, many of you may have been using the normal export method. You see fine, it works very well, the same thing. So this is me wanting to export for web. I will just come here and make sure I'm using um, JPEG. Yeah, I have it on very high. Or you can keep it at maximum if your system can carry, but mine is always at very high. Don't forget to turn this on. Don't forget to turn. This is the most important one because for those of us that are shooting in RAW, trying to bring the image back to um, um, a 10, uh, 10 bit uh, uh, interface or a 10 bit website, it is not going to work properly because the amount of colors that the web carries is different from the amount of color that your RAW carries. That is for another video, but just know that your RAW carries a lot of colors that you're finishing to convert. That's what we're doing here. You're trying to convert it to the, the normal JPEG of the everyday lifestyle. So you're going to just come here, make sure you click this. If you're not clicking it, it's not, it's not going to make any difference though. Like when I say it's not going to make any difference, not in the export file. It's not going to make any difference in terms of size because you're converting it. Check, it's not making any difference. It's still the same megabyte and 
it's still seven megabytes so nothing changes so at this point i'm going to click save once i click save two things are involved at this point it's either i have a folder i want to export so this is my export folder whenever i export it just bring it direct to this place so for example now i am in my desktop and i want to let's go to my document so i want to create a new layout and i call it export two three then i say okay i'm going to open the folder then i'm going to say save once that option is set the first part of creating the action is set now when i say stop if we want to let me remove let me remove this layer above if we want to just be clicking from here to export all we have to do whenever we come we just open the folder export click it it's going to load every single thing that you have done then when you come to the folder what we are going to do first is to delete the image that is in the folder. We are going to delete this image. Let's refresh. This shows that it's still, it's still trying to export. So let's delete. Now it's done exporting. So that other file, that cache file is gone. Let's delete this. Then let's go back to Photoshop. Then delete this again. Then play the action. So we we'll stay here and watch our empty folder and see how this appears inside so refresh voila here you have your exported file so for the sake of trying to be more professional probably you are trying to hide something from someone when you're done with this you come to this is it four yes this is four four lines here then you come to action options here you can now choose a function key so let me say mine let me keep it at f12 shift control let me just change the color for changing sake remember your your um your shortcut is f shift control you can use f shift uh shift f12 to do it it will still work very well so let's just try shift f6 so f2 f i mean sorry so we'll go back to the folder and delete what is inside then we'll come here delete this also remember the shortcut is f12 shift f12 so let's press the shift and f12 shift f12 it's going to load and we are going to wait for it to finish loading so we know that we have a working action so i'm talking i am very very proud that i showed you something that is working yes as you can see we have a ninth action the image is sharpened and it's looking crystal clear yeah as you can see this is the final image so once again, it was a simple and fast tutorial. But if this tutorial has taught you something today, make sure you give me a like. If this is the first time of passing through my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first to notif be notified that I've dropped a new video. Thank you once again and see you in my next video.